Hey YouTube, it's Ashley back again with another thrift haul and today's haul is going to include items that I picked up recently at the Salvation Army as well as some items from a consignment shop that I hadn't been to in a long time. I'm going to try to fix the... okay, there it's... the lighting's a little better. I'm using natural light and it's very sunny out right now so hopefully it holds up for the video. Uh, so I'll get right into the items that I picked up at the Salvation Army first. I picked up a big bag of vintage knitting needles. Some of them are still in the package, which is pretty exciting. And this bag was $5.99, which I thought was a little much for Salvation Army for knitting needles, but when you actually count how many sets of knitting needles are in here, there are some double-ended ones, some little um, stitch holder thingies, um, I think there were even a couple crochet hooks in here. It's a pretty good deal. Definitely a lot less than a dollar a set or a pair. I also picked up this uh, waist fabric for cross stitching. So this would be if you were going to cross stitch something like on a shirt or a pair of pants or um, hand towels, you can actually um, put this fabric where you want to cross stitch. Then you've got your little guide, the little squares. And then when you're done, you just rip this fabric out from under the stitches, which is a little tricky, but it does work, technically. I had some trouble um, using this the first and only time that I've used it. Uh, I'll save that for last. So this particular trip, all clothes, green tags were half off and yellow tags were 99 cents. So I found this pair of great uh, vintage looking Levi's corduroys here. And they are like a cranberry maroonish sort of color. And these were $6.99, so I paid $3.50 for them. Those can go in the wash now. And then I got two things that were half off. They were, oh no, sorry, those were $0.99. Cents. Yellow tags were $0.99 cents and green was half off. Um, I got this cute little top from New York and Company, which I figure is going to be great for the vacation that I'm going to be taking in a week. I'm going on my first cruise. Uh, this was $5.99, so this was $3. I also picked up this sweater, which just looked really comfy and cute, by a brand called Croquet Club, I believe. Just a big, oversized, black and gold glitter sweater. I just thought this was cute. And uh, there's the tag, so you can see. I'm guessing this is circa 90s. And this was marked $6.99, so I paid $3.50 for that. And then the last thing that I picked up, this was also $0.99. Cents. I saw this from across the store, kind of freaked out. Um, and then I was like, oh, it's probably not going to fit. And it fits almost perfectly. So I'm actually going to stand up with this. Hopefully you can see more of it when I stand up. It is this long vintage wool jacket and it's in a color that's kind of in between like a cream and a camel. It's lighter than camel but a little darker than a cream and I don't know how well it's going to be lit but it fits me pretty perfectly and it's got these beautiful big metal buttons on it and the nice satin like blush tone light uh, lining. So yeah, it fits pretty well. About as well as a jacket can fit me. And it's got cute little pockets. So I just was in awe that this was going to be 99 cents. So I just couldn't get over it. So I know I'm talking to you and you can't see my head, which is probably weird, but <laughs> I'm back. So I just thought that was a great deal. There's no label in it. Um, the only label that there is, and I peeled a dry cleaning tag off of this is just the little fabric contents um, tag which says that it is can't see because of the way they stitched it but some percent ending in a five of wool and then another percent ending in a five of nylon which I'm gonna guess this is mostly wool maybe 85 percent uh, wool is probably what it is and I just thought this was gorgeous especially for 99 cents I just could not get over that then I made a trip to a consignment shop. Like I said, I hadn't been there in over a year, well over a year. I used to consign there um, a long time ago. One of the first things I saw were these two little pins, which I'll take them out of the bag, are pairs of sunglasses. 
And these are just too cute. These are probably from like the 80s or 90s. Um, the small pair is pink and the large pair is red. And I also picked up this long sweater vest, which I thought would be really cute over like a long sleeve t-shirt. It's got these nice big pockets on it. And it's a nice neutral, um, like a taupe sort of color. That was Mark twelve ninety five, and I believe it was, yeah, it was 50% off. This dress was my splurge item on the trip, but I just thought this was so cute. It's a quilted gray dress. And it's in perfect condition. I don't see any pilling on it whatsoever. Oh, because it was new. It's still got the Ann Taylor Loft tag on it. This was marked $29.95. Uh, but this was, I believe this was half off as well. Because of the date on the tag. And then I got some items. She had a little area outside that was marked down to $5 or less. I picked up this beautiful top from Land's End. Now my lighting is better. Um, this one was marked down to $4. This is brand new, still has the tag on it. I picked up this plain white top. Uh, this one's from Land's End as well, probably from the same person. This one was marked down to $2. And I really liked the shape of this. I picked up this short sleeve shirt, which this might be going in my bag for the cruise as well, because it's really lightweight. You can see all the way through both layers here and it's just gray um, and gold this is from the limited and this was marked down to three dollars I picked up this pair of pants which is kind of like a jegging style pant from forever 21 these were marked down to five dollars and it's just a khaki color very very stretchy thought those were cute and then one more pair of pants. Um, these are a little like nicer. Um, these were actually not on the, the sale either. These were, I think these were only 25% off and they were marked $14.95. So I don't know what that is, $10 somewhere around there. So I did pay a little more than I normally would, but I am pretty sure these are brand new. They still have the little thing from the original tag on it, just not the original tag. And there is no pilling. You can still see the thread where they ripped off the, the tag on the pants. And they're just, the color is perfect. Everything looks perfect on them. There was actually three, there were three pairs of these. Um, and I think what the person did was they got rid of this pair first. And then kind of thought it over and got rid of the other two pairs. Because the other two colors came in on a later date. So they weren't on sale yet. So I didn't pick those up. Because I wasn't going to spend $13 or... $15, whatever it was. Yeah, $15 on a pair of pants. So I just picked up the maroon colored ones, and I also don't have anything like this in that color, so that was nice. Those are almost like a nicer jegging. I'm not sure if I said that in the beginning of the description. So that was all I got. I spent uh, just under $15 or just over $15 at the Salvation Army for the coat, the two tops, the pants, the knitting needles, the waist fabric, all of that. And then at the um, second place, the consignment shop, I spent just over $40, which was a little bit of a splurge for me, but I did get a lot of really nice stuff, so I was excited about that. And now I'm excited to put everything in the laundry, so the things that I do want to bring with me on my trip, I'll be able to uh, put them in my suitcase. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, I'm probably going to start filming more out here, at least until my closet gets a little more organized, and the lighting is really good out here as well. So have a great day and thanks for watching.